Okay, action. We have Peter, Mike Jacobson, and Michael Higgins. How are you today? Great. How are you? Hi, we're good. How are you? Oh, we're doing great. Thank you. Okay, now, Peter, Mark Jacobson, you created Happy Divorce, which yes, is amazing. Thank you. Okay. And, Michael, you actually played Peter, you know, on I TV. didn't create Happy Divorce. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is also amazing. But he plays the creator. But I yes. play the creator of Happily okay. Divorce. It's much easier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Peter, what's it like seeing yourself on TV? Uh, it's great because I don't have to shower. I don't have to get dressed. I just let him do all that. Yeah. He's great. He's really so talented. He's, it's, it's wonderful to have someone play you who's so much funnier than you are and better looking and younger. It's, it's all good. <sighs> You know, Michael. I was going to say that about it. This is the only case in, <laughs> in history where the, the guy, uh, the TV version, is much less hip, cool, and funny than the actual guy. So no, Not true. They usually, they usually do it the other way around. <laughs> I'm just some boring straight guy with razor burn and fair, spare tire. He just, sort of he, he's just gay. You just play gay on TV. I just play gay <laughs> on TV, exactly. Okay, now, um, now how true to life is Peter, the character, to Peter in real life? You know, we kind of found this oblivious piece of him that works really well, that he's clueless, and, and, and that's pretty true to me. <laughs> I, um, I walk, because I came out so late, I'd never even been to a gay bar or anything like that until I was into my late 30s, that I, it was, I didn't know what anybody was saying, anybody, what anything meant, and I, the first time I walked into a bar, the first thing somebody said to me was, hey, daddy, and I looked at my friend, what, what does that mean? Why is he calling me daddy? <laughs> and uh, then my friend said, no, that means something good. I, I still am not sure it does, but, uh, but that's what he did. And, you know, so I had to learn. And with his character, too, he, people come on to him, and he has no idea. Yeah, so it's, it's, I, I, it's a great luxury for me to have a person that is, is a constant reference. I can, if, I, if there's ever a question, it's, just, it's so easy to just say, how, how do you handle this? What do you do? It's, you know, as opposed to me making it up and... And also, he's writing the part too, for the most part. So, um, and I, I'm, I'm sort of, I'm not really doing him. I'm inspired by him and his. And yeah, it's his, his version of a character. It's based on me, but it's him, his creation, and things I've done. But it's his version of it. But often, you know, he he'll use, uh, or the other writers will use uh, rhythms or locutions that that Peter actually uses in real life. Which is great for me because I can I actually hear him say it across the room. And it's like, oh yeah, that's the attitude. I get it. I remember this now. Yeah, so. I can get really specific with him too because like the other day we were doing a scene and he came right from the gym and he's sitting there and he's like eating a piece of cake and I looked at him and I said, you're gay. You don't eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why uh, I will not become gay. I, cannot give, I can't give up cake. Not for that. No, I can't either. Oh, no, no, well, so that's a different matter. Okay, y'all are so very funny. Okay, now working with Fran Drescher. Okay, what, I mean, because she's your ex-wife. Yes. But, okay, but now you work with her on set. What's it like working with her for both of you? Uh, for me, I've been working with her since, we knew each other since we are 15. I mean, we used to sit home and, and watch I Love Lucy and, and write our own little versions of it. And her mother used to come in and say to us, oh, God, if you two could only earn a living doing this. <laughs> and, you know, her father used to say to her mother, God, they're going to live with us for the rest of our lives. They do nothing. <laughs> and luckily, we turned it into something. She's, she's amazing. She's so talented and smart. And a lot of people think that she's the nanny, and but uh, she created the nanny you know she's a very smart lady and great heart yeah I you know it's a it's been a, one of the great um, pleasures of my whole working career it's been a very long career for me too um, to work with someone a, 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 of her caliber of everything really not just as a great actress and comedian but a very intelligent and uh, compassionate person and a great boss and um and we happen to have great chemistry, um, which is something that you can't cultivate or make up or work at. Just... He was the last person to walk in for the part. We were going to postpone the pilot because we couldn't find the character that was the right age, the right chemistry. So we were like, the last person to walk in was him. And we all were like, oh, God. It was like God had sent him down to us. <laughs> and, uh, and as soon as he walked out, we were like, call the agent, booked it, and... Yeah, I felt that way too in that room. I looked at it's uh, for, as a performer. It's like you look in each other's eyes in a way. It's uh, that sounds romantic, but it's more like you recognize a fellow creature 
you know, and she and I actually approach comedy in a very, uh, it's a similar way, actually. Um, we're not very fussy about it, but we're pretty scientific about it, and we've done a lot of it. So, and we, we have a kind of uh, um, professional approach to it. And um, You can't cast that, it just happens. And you, you can have a great script, you can have everything lined up, but if that little magic chemistry between two people isn't there, it just, it just doesn't work. And we were so blessed when, when he walked into our lives that it did. I feel the same way. And we happen to like each other a lot too, which is great. Okay, well, thank you both. I appreciate it. Very welcome. You think you now guys? we can hate each other. Now we hate each other. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>